اقبال ربنا واجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا امة مسلمة لك and from our, our progeny you raise an ummah a community that should be submissive to you وارنا مناسكنا and show us our rights of hajj and umrah what should we do how to show respect to your house how to perform hajj ارنا مناسكنا maybe they were shown to them in some dream just possible ارنا show to us Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might have sent Jibreel to perform hajj and perform the rites of hajj so that Ibrahim and Ismail could learn just as you know that Allah ta'ala sent Hazrat Jibreel to teach salah to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Jibreel prayed with Muhammad. Muhammad was Muqtadi and Imam was Jibreel and they prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in that way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Muhammad how to pray. So this salah was taught to him. So in the same way, wa are na manase kana. Show us what are the rites and rituals of this house of yours. Wa tum alayna. Accept our tawa. Have relenting attitude towards us. In the kanta tawabu rahim, because you are the only one who accepts tawa, and you are the only one who has all the mercy. Rabbana wa ba sihim rasulam minhu. Another prayer, and our Lord, please raise from among them Rasulam min whom a, a messenger, but he should be from amongst them. For them, a Rasul, a messenger from themselves. Yet lo alehim ayatika, who should recite unto them your ayat? Wa yuallu muhumul kitab wal hikmah, and teach them the book as well as the wisdom. Why you that keep him and purify them? In the Kantar Azizul Hakim, verily you are only you are the Almighty, the All Wise. This was the prayer, you know, for the advent of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That you know, from this progeny of ours, this line of our progeny, from here a community should be raised, and in that community a messenger should be sent. And what should that what should that messenger do? Recite to them your ayat, purify them, teach them the book as well as the wisdom. Wa man yarqabu an milat Ibrahim illa man safiya nafsa. And who will turn away from the milah? Again, that is the same word. The path and practices of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam illa man safiya nafsa. Except those who are who have befooled themselves. Who have put themselves in folly? Only they will refrain and turn away from the path and practices of Ibrahim. Well, Allah is tafayna of this dunya, and we had chosen him in this world also. We had exalted him. Why in the hu filah khatat la min salihin, and in the hereafter, verily, he will be among the righteous bondsmen of ours. Is kala la hu rabbu hu aslim? When his Lord said to him. Submit yourself. 
قال اسلم تل رب العالمین وین ایور اللہ سیڈ ایکسپٹ مائی کمانڈ بو بفور می ایکسپٹ دس کمانڈ سبمٹ بفور می ایٹ ایوری مومنٹ ایوری ٹائم دی آنسر واز اسلم تل رب العالمین آئی سبمٹ ٹو دی لارڈ آف آل دا ورلڈس وابسا بہا ابراہیم و بنی و یعقوب اینڈ ابراہیم اینڈ یعقوب بوتھ دے and joined their progenies their sons to the same thing ya inna allah astafa lakum uddin what was that the advice the enjoining of ibrahim and yaqub alayhi salatu was salam to their sons inna allah astafa lakum uddin fala tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun oh my sons allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for you the deen of islam so look to it that you don't die except as muslims you should be in submission to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till your death no moment should come in your life when you are revolting against him in rebellion against him you are breaking his laws lest the icy hands of death pounce upon you at that very moment then that that will not be the death of a muslim because you will be contravening the law of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that time If you are dying in a state of rebellion against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in a state of sin, that is not the death of a Muslim. Ya baniya inna Allah astafa lakum al-deen. Oh my son, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this deen for you. Fala tamutun la illa wa antum muslimun. Look to it that you don't die except as Muslim. You don't die except in submission. Antum tu shahada is hazara yaqub al-mawt. Were you witnesses? Were you present? When the death came. came to hazrat yaqub alayhi salatu was salam is qala le bani when he said to his sons all the 12 sons were with him when he talked to them at the time of his death ma ta'budu na min ba'di whom will you worship after me qalu na'budu ilaha ka wa ilaha abai ka ibrahim wa ismail wa ishaq they said we shall worship your lord and the lord and god of your elders your four fathers that is ibrahim and ismail and ishaq alayhi salatu was salam ilaha wahida and he is one god wa nahnu lahu muslimun and we all submit to him tilka ummatun qad khalat this is a community these were a people who have gone who have passed tilka ummatun qad khalat now don't boast in their names laha ma kasabat for them was what they earned the all the good deeds that they perform were for them not for you wa lakum ma kasabtum for you will be what you will earn not what they earned laha ma kasabat this is a community these are the people who have passed away who have gone laha ma kasabat for them is what they earned wa lakum ma kasabtum for you will be what you will earn ولا تسالون عما كانوا يعملون and you will not be asked what they were doing you will be asked what you have been doing وقالوا كونوا هودا او نصارى تهتدوا and they say who say the same jews and christians they say become either jews or christians tahtadu then you will be guided you will be on the right path قل بل ملة ابراهيم حنيفا say no instead we will follow the path and practices of ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam who was hanif who was absolutely without any shirk wa ma kana min al mushrikeen he was absolutely wholeheartedly and totally a muwahhid wa ma kana min al mushrikeen he was not from among the polytheists not those who worship anything and anyone else except allah subhanahu wa taala qulu amanna o muslims you say in reply to them they are saying qulu hudan aw nasara tahtadu in reply you should say qulu amanna billah we believe in allah wa ma unzila ilaina and on what has been sent on sent towards us wa ma unzila ila ibrahim and what was sent to ibrahim wa ismaila wa ishaqa wa yaquba and ismail and ishaq and yaqub wal asbat and his sons 
Wama uti abusa wa isa. What was given to Moses and what was given to Jesus. Wama uti an nabi yuna min rabbihim. And whatever was given to all the prophets from their Lord. La do farriqo bayda ahadim min hum. We don't divide between them. We don't discriminate between them. We believe in all of them. We believe in all the prophets. Wa nahnu lahu muslimun. And we are in submission to Allah and Allah only. فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِسْلِ مَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ And then if they come to believe just in the same way as you have believed, O Muslims, without any reservations, not claiming that we believe in Allah and day after, and the hereafter and the day of judgment, and they omit the Iman with Rasul. No. If they believe just as you have come to believe, if they believe in all those things in which you Muslims believe, فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِسْلِمَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدِ اِحْتَدَوْا Then definitely they are on the right path. Then they have got the guidance. وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا And if they turn away, فَإِنْ نَمَا هُمْ فِي شِقَاقْ Then verily they are in antagonism. They are in enmity. They are in shi'ism. فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهِ And Allah will suffice for you against them. Oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't fear them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be sufficient for your help against them. وَهُوَ السَّمِيُّ الْعَلِيمُ And he is all listener, all knowledgeable. سِبْغَةَ اللَّهِ We have adopted the color of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ سِبْغَةً And who can be better in color than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ Now what does this color mean? The whole attitude in life, the culture, the civilization, which is the result of iman, real iman, real faith, that is the sibgatullah, that is the color of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ سِبْغَةً وَنَحْنُ لَهُ عَابِدُونَ And we are bondsmen to him. We are all slaves to him. قُلَ تُحَاجُّ لَنَا فِي اللَّهِ Ask them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are you arguing us? You, O Jews, and you, O Christians, do you argue with us about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَهُوَ رَبُّنَا وَرَبُّكُمْ He is our Lord, as well as your Lord. He is the one Lord of all this universe. So what's the dispute about? What's the argument about? Allah is the same. Allah is the same who sent Moses. The same Allah sent Jesus. The same Allah sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أَتُحَاجُّنَنَا فِي اللَّهِ Do you argue with us? Do you dispute us about Allah? وَهُوَ رَبُّنَا وَرَبُّكُمْ He is our Lord, our Master, and your Lord and your Master. وَلَنَا عَمَالُنَا وَلَكُمْ عَمَالُكُمْ For us are our deeds, and for you will be your deeds. We shall not be responsible for you, and you shall not be held responsible for us. وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُخْلِصُونَ But we have become more sincerely devoted to Him and Him alone. أَمْ تَقُولُونَ إِنَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْبَائِلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَلَسْبَاتَ كَانُوا هُدًا أَوْ نَسَارَ A very beautiful, you know, expression. What do you say, O Jews and Christians? Do you say that Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub were Jews or Christians? Everybody would say no. Jew, this religion of Jewry and Christianity, they have come after Ibrahim and Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub. We can say that this religion of Judaism, it started with Moses at the most. Christianity started with Jesus at the most. So Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, they were neither Christians nor Jews. Quran tum alamu amillah. Say, are you more knowledgeable? Or Allah, wa man azlamu min man katama shahadatan indahu min Allah. Who is more unjust than the one who conceals a testimony with him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَ اللَّهُ بِغَافِلَ نَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ Allah is not unaware of what you are doing. تِلْكَ أُمَّةٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ They were a people who have passed. Ibrahim, Ismail, Isaac, Yaqub. They were a community. They were a people who have died, who have gone, who have passed. لَهَا مَا كَسَبَتْ For them was what they earned. وَلَكُمْ مَا كَسَبْتُمْ For you will be what you will earn. وَلَا تُسَلُونَ أَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And you will not be asked what they were doing. بارک اللہ لی و لکم فی القرآن العظیم و نفعنی و ایاکم بالآیات و ذکر حکیم